Have you heard the breaking news? Kevin Spacey is gay, like you care. Oh, yeah, there's something else. Uh, he may have tried to force sex on a child. That was buried. On Sunday, actor Anthony Rapp accused the House of Cards star of making sexual advances on him when he was just 14. That's a big story, obviously, but many news outlets focused on Spacey's response to it. That was written by publicists in which he came out of the closet as gay. ABC News, Reuters, and the New York Daily News all headlined with Spacey's announcement rather than the child molestation allegations. And I'm sure that was, of course, exactly the point. Chadwick Moore is a gay writer and journalist based in New York, and he joins us tonight. Um, Chadwick, it, it seems like the most cynical possible response. Look, I don't have any idea what happened with Kevin Spacey, who I've got nothing against, by the way, um, and this guy, low those many years ago. But whether or not he's gay hardly seems like the headline. It's extremely cynical, and it started to work. When I saw this last night, uh, when I saw his press release, I thought, okay, brilliant PR. What's going to happen next is he'll be on every daytime talk show. Uh, he'll, be, he'll, he'll become a hero. His, his professional um, uh, value will go up. It'll, he'll talk about uh, you know, the, the troubles of being uh, closeted in Hollywood and homophobia. Well, and that is what started to happen, as you mentioned. The headline's coming out. ABC News, for one, the headline was about Kevin Spacey's emotional tweet coming out. Uh, the, you didn't get in, uh, for many of these stories, you didn't get down into the, these sexual assault allegations well yeah. into the, the okay. middle of the story. Uh, and it started to work. What they weren't counting on, like, like a Scooby-Doo villain, is all of these meddling internet, internet trolls were going to step in and ruin it for them. And that's exactly what happened. Now we have big, powerful figures on the left uh, in, in entertainment like Rosie O'Donnell who are, are really going after uh, Kevin Spacey for this. Yeah, I mean, it seems to, I mean, other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? I mean, talk about burying the lead. <laughs> Why would news organizations play along with what's so obviously a public relations strategy? You know, I heard his show got canceled. It's a, sa it's a shame that we don't have a metaphor for a uh, crumbling failure. This seems to be, the, it's typical that these people are so much in bed with one another that yeah. it doesn't even occur to them that, that this reaction would be like this, that people would catch on to this and see how disgusting this was. Now, don't, don't, don't be mistaken for one second. If, if Kevin Spacey had been a good gay in Hollywood, if he had come out years ago, because people have known that he's been openly gay, basically living as an openly gay man for a long time, if he had come out, if he'd been at the GLAAD Awards every year, if he'd been on the cover of Out Magazine, if he'd been uh, this outspoken member of the gay community, they would not be dragging him like this. They would be trying to bury these 14-year-old, uh, these allegations about that this, uh, this person made when he was, uh, uh, about things that happened when he was 14 years old. I hate to believe that's true, but I think you're probably right. Because I notice a trend here, which is um, that when people on the left are accused of wrongdoing, they immediately go to politics. Harvey Weinstein's famous response, I'm going to devote my life to fighting the NRA. <laughs> it tells you that they think that their politics will buy them, like an indulgence from an evil church, a pass on their behavior. Look, it's worked for so long. Uh, this, this response from Kevin Spacey's team was not uh, negligent. It was, it was brilliant. It was quite smart. They yeah. were counting on this working, and it was beginning to work. Now, the reason why this worked is, uh, has worked for so long is, uh, you know, we're used to treating certain groups of people as victim groups, as right. deserving special treatment. And, uh, you know, it, it, this time it, they thought that they could get away with it. Now you have the gay community saying, no, you can't wrap yourself in the flag. You haven't been standing with us. It's not working. Wow. The Internet is unpredictable for sure. <laughs> Chad, thanks, thanks for joining us. That Thank was you, interesting. Thanks.